XR and XNR gates. In the list of experiments, you select the first experiment. Here you find the aim, theory, pre-test, procedure, simulation, post-test and some references. The theory is given here. You can see the uh, theory for individual gates. You can see here and R not NAD nor XR and X nor gates and the theory and basic operations symbol. So everything is uh, displayed in the theory section. The truth table is also uh, given below the symbol in each gate. So the circuit diagram along with the truth table is uh, given for all the gates. So you can go through the uh, theory before starting the simulation. Therefore, you will be having an idea how the logic gates works, what is the input, what is the output, so how we should give the input. So all such things you will learn. This is the circuit diagram for NOT gate. Truth table for NON gate. Next NOR gate. Next XR gate. Final XNOR gate. After reading and understanding the theory part, come to the procedure. In the procedure, uh, you can understand how the um, simulation works. Okay, what are the inputs, what are the outputs, how to give the input, how to get the output. So everything is displayed here. So you can go through the procedure for each gate. It is displayed here. So what are the parameters we are using and how to uh, give the input, how to read the output. So everything is uh, described here in detail. So kindly go through the procedure part. After understanding the uh, procedure part in detail, you are supposed to click the simulation part. There you find the simulation, simulation 1 and uh, simulation 2, where in the simulation, you can find the simulation link for all the gates. You can see the under gate is displayed here. You can move or zoom in, zoom out to find all gates, R gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XR gate and XNR gates. So what you have to do, you have to click on uh, any one uh, gate. So here I click uh, under gate. And I was directed to the simulation website. There we have simulation 1 and simulation 2. So this is the online uh, website for uh, simulation. So here we are going to simulate the gate. You have to connect to the uh, battery first, the plus minus. Then you have switch 1. Then you have to uh, uh, give input in the switch 2 and switch 3. So according to the truth table, we will get the output in the form of lightning. This is another simulation method. We have, we have AND gate. So for AND gate, uh, we can give input uh, at A and B. We can also give the output and we can check whether the input and the output are, are correct. We can uh, verify the truth table here. We know for under gate, if 0 and 0 are the inputs, then out will be 0. So we have I have given it and we can check it here. Yes, 0, 0 is 0. So it is correct. Then we have to do, we have to give input 0 and 1 then 
we get uh, uh, will be getting zero because if both inputs are one we get uh, one output so one zero also will be zero and that is also correct then i give a one and one now here i give one and i click okay now you see the output is one so it is correct so in this way we have to uh, give the simulation for and gate so next uh, i shall uh, uh, go to the next gate so that will be uh, or gate yes i find the or gate here so you click on the or gate here and you find a simulation one simulation two you go to the simulation one first there you see uh, two switches two diodes and a resistor and a bulb and battery so what you have to do you have to uh, connect the battery first then you give the input in uh, switch one and switch two so for a under gate sorry for our gate if uh, any one input is uh, one then you will get output as one so you see if i give a zero zero the bulb will not glow if i give zero one or one zero or one one the bulb will glow so that is our gate so that can also be uh, confirmed by the uh, similar similar simulation two so here also i give when i give zero zero there will not be output and that will be zero so that is the truth table so if i give a zero one or one zero or one one you will get one as the output so you can uh, see it here so i have given zero one and the output is see if i give a zero one and the output is zero that is incorrect because any one input has the value of one then the output will be one so that should be uh, noted here for your friends i am giving some wrong output then you can understand easily yes you can see here if i give zero one and the output is one then you are getting the output correct so here you see if you give any uh, wrong input or output then that will be uh, notified in the simulation part next go to the not gate you all know about not gate you get the uh, opposite value of the input value if you give one you get a zero if you give zero you get a one as the output so you connect the battery here and the switch one and switch two in the switch two only you are going to give the input then if you give one then you get a zero as the output if you give one then you are going to get zero as the output so you can understand the input output concept of not gate in the uh, simulation two so i am giving one and i am getting the output as zero is it correct yes next go to the nand gate nand gate is the opposite of uh, and gate so you can do the simulation and the same method we have done already so connect the battery switch on the circuit connection then uh, give the input at uh, switch 2 and switch 3 so here you see nand gate is the opposite of and gate in and gate both inputs must be one so that you get uh, one as the output but in nand gate the opposite of the and gate so you can uh, confirm it here uh, when i give a zero and a zero so you can see here i am giving zero zero as the input let me check uh, what i am getting i am putting one as the output and let me check whether it is correct or not yes i am checking it is correct and zero one yes it is correct then one zero it is also correct but one one it is wrong that means sorry one one we don't get output
we shall see the simulation for uh, another gate now we are going to see the nor gate this is the simulation for a nor gate the same procedure we are going to follow as we have done for other gates already and this is the uh, another simulation method where you give the input at a and b and we have to give some in output and you have to check whether the given output is correct or not if you are giving correct input you will be uh, notified as correct in the remarks but if you are giving some um, out uh, output that are, that is wrong then you get wrong in the remark so you can uh, have the truth table with you and you can uh, verify the truth tables using this uh, simulation also so you have uh, both the simulation methods you can use uh, any one of the simulation part so here we have given uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. so for them the outputs are correct next we'll go to xr gate here you find a power button you have to switch on the power button and you have two input power supply 5 volt 5 volt for switch 1 and switch 2 this is the experimental circuit for xr gate in xr gate when both inputs are zero the output will be zero when both inputs are one the output will be uh, zero when any one of the output is uh, one then the output will be one so that can be understood by the uh, truth table you can see the uh, input and output here So next we shall go to X NOR gate. So this is the uh, simulation link for X NOR gate. This is a, uh, another simulation method, the second simulation method. Here you get uh, 1 as the output if you give both inputs as 1 or both the inputs as 0. For uh, 1, 0 or 0, 1 you will give, you will not get uh, 1 as the output. 